They're set. They're racing. Next stop, the Moon, one of the first of them to leave with Recharger and Akiko. And right behind them, Serenity Bay also jumped nice and prominent ahead of Eurasia with inflation beaten for speed. Back on the inside next of all as they settle down in front of Pro Consent. Then Denga further back. They're going along at a strong pace here at the head of proceedings. Sublime Image is back there in the second half. Then Driftstar, Costa Del Santo, the escort and sigil are well back with Plead the fifth. And the tail ender is Arnie's boy. Gee, look at the territory that they're covering here from first to last the best part of 15 16 lengths as they go past the 700 next stop the moon who'd been freewheeling leads the way a kiko up there sitting at its quarters running second and recharge a third and they're just trying to back off the pace a little here coming to the corner over on the outside then getting a lovely run behind them the favorite serenity bay it was trailed in turn then by eurasia with inflation next pro consent behind those and then sublime image followed further back by costa del San into the straight though they balanced up 350 to go and next stop the moon led clearly two in front here comes serenity bay though starting to gobble it up very quickly and as they come to the 175 serenity bay reaches the lead costa del santos finishing full of running down the outside serenity bay though kicks away costa del santo on the outside runs to second from next stop the moon but it's a great first up win serenity bay she done it comfortably from costa del santo next stop the moon recharge a close up fourth home from you Eurasia. They were followed wider out on the track then by Pro Consent, Sublime Image Inflation, then Sigil, a gap in the field of Kiko plead the fifth, the escort, Drift Star Arnie's boy, and Denga last in. Serenity Bay with the run of the race. Beautifully placed behind a pretty crazy pace there in front. They were flying along. And Pike was able to just settle Serenity Bay in behind them, back there, fourth in fifth in transit, and then just hit the trigger. And uh, she's come up, trumps at her first run back in. Four wins now from eight on top of four other minor placings. A very solid return to the track. Pike just sitting up and nursing her through the back end of the event. The consistent Costa del Santo running on as always into second placing. Next stop, the moon, third recharger. Ways in fourth in front of Eurasia, pro consent. But a lot of those struggled back there in the field. A length and a half was the official winning margin. Three quarters, second and third. Now, they ran that race in 125.94, but they were humming along. Uh, the best part of 16 lengths covered the field, 36.54. So uh, maybe the track just a little softer underfoot there, if that time's any in uh, reflection to the previous race for the day. 13, 2, 5, 12, and they've all been confirmed there. Serenity Bay by Regano out of Evoked, owned by Neil Pinner, G. Ralston, A. Davidson, Tony Bahadja, T. McClernan, Mrs. J. Hawkins, and Chris Chelwell, along with the uh, Unger Family Syndicate, managed by Timmy Unger, trained by Grant and Alana Williams, a double for their yard today, and also for William Pike. Second in two, Costa del Santo, and Ukbar Testa El Teza Gelding, prepared by Jackie Panizza, written by Mitchell Pateman, and five next stop, the moon, a Keltus full moon gelding, trained by Dan and Ben Pierce, handled by apprentice writer Bo Banovic Edwards. The feature today at five after four, the C Corp Hyperion Stakes, the Group 3 highlight over 1,600. It's a beauty the next as well, with no changes to the scratchings board. Kira Yule, though, picks up the ride on three, Gatting, as we head down to Britt Taylor. And that was just tailor-made for Serenity Bay there, Britt. Really nice performance by Serenity Bay. But first up, Alana, with at 1,400 and the downpour that we just had, the track is looking pretty soft out there. Are you impressed by what she's been able to do first up, but given she only had the one trial as well? Yeah, well, normally we give them a couple to go to 1,400, but um, she's a pretty hot filly and works herself hard at home. So, yeah, but it was a little concern, but she's been going so well since that trial. Um, we, were, we were quietly confident. How far has she come from the early days? Yeah, well, she was very hard to handle early days and spent a lot of time at the breakers. So um, she's probably only been in our stable just over 12 months and she's finally um, comfortable with everything we do. Is she at a point now where her maturity is at a level that you think she can comfortably just go through the grades now? 
Yeah, I think she shows a lot of promise and she's sensible enough that she's not um, a danger to herself or anyone anymore. Um, but she's come a long way and we really like her, so that's good. She had the bars on last preparation. Are the feet better this time in? Yeah, they seem to have cleared and um, she seems pretty happy, so hopefully we're in for a good prep. Mississippi Delta in the big one next. It's a horse that you've mentioned needs racing to get fit. Can today be her day to win? Uh, she's definitely sharpened up from that first run. Um, hopefully a mile's far enough. Um, yeah, she, she should run a really good race. Well, Best of luck in the next and well done here. Thank you. Alana Williams representing uh, her and her husband Grant after the victory of Serenity Bay. And William Pike's headed in.